Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode two of Girls Band Cry. Okay, so with whatever the heck is going on, like, so yesterday came and went. Of course, I came home, and I'm like, okay, where is episode two? I'm like, are we not subbing for this? Are we getting fan translations for this? Which I'm guessing we possibly are, because I haven't seen, like, Crunchyroll or anybody else, like, take it up to get subs for it and everything. Um... It was about maybe two, a couple of hours after I came home and I was like, well, let me go ahead and look for the episode. And it was nowhere. So I was like, that's why I kept thinking like, oh, it's this, it's this, what the fuck is going on and such. Up until by the time I went to bed last night, that is when initially I saw episode two. So I think just for now, like I will try to still get the videos out by Friday, but it seems like it's going, it's kind of moving over to a Saturday show. And such. And, and that's okay. But I'm like, damn, I, w I, was, I was so excited to watch this yesterday. And, and the fact is that we didn't get subs for it until way later is truly upsetting. But I get it. It, it is what it is. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two in three, two, one. Are you okay? Mm. Cause y'all both share that one room. Damn. Poor Momoka. That's why, once again, know your limits. <laughs> so you just have on certain class on certain days. Good. Oh. Yeah. That's the same for someone who's just a high school graduate too, but not as hard as a dropout. Still hard though. So go to school. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I mean, you kind of initiated it last week, Nina. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> But what she wants to do is do music with you. Like, read the room, Nina. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have a good singing voice. Who else? <laughs> oh, are you? Does she really have a knife in the bag in the fridge, <laughs> Nina? <laughs> no, it's okay. You got what you could afford. Mm-hmm. It's a challenge every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus, that's to the point where y'all are doing that as a freaking routine. So I get, you know, but it wasn't for you. You didn't like it. So she's one of those.
Of course, because that's how mean girls roll. Mm -hmm. You need to convey and get your emotions out, baby. Because if you don't, you're going to feel like a ticking time bomb trying to get those emotions out. Not only saying that to her, also saying that to myself, also saying that to you guys. No, it's okay. Right? You go study. We know this isn't the end of these two. Duh. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, baby.
You want to talk about it? Right? Yeah, you know, don't want to intrude. I love the fact that they're also talking about Vocaloid because, yeah, Vocaloid is hella popular and I love when we reference the popular-ish. Exactly. No, 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 no. Well, yeah. Right? Yeah. She's not trying to be a bitch or overacting and asking and such. Exactly. Nina. Nina. The way she just pivoted. <laughs> you can always go back and apologize, honey.
She's not lying. Mm-hmm. At least it works. That's the good thing. At least the light works because, I mean, she was over here swinging it around like it's a damn <laughs> lasso and such and just being like, boom, boom, <laughs> like, girl. Hold up, you gonna break it and then it ain't gonna work and they gonna be screwed. But I, I definitely get her. She, oh my god, like once again with the bochi feels on the antisocial stuff. But you can already with everything. Didn't really think that she was bullied until she talked about it. Plus the little backstory, the flashback, and how her desk was extremely wet with all the stuff on it. And everyone in the background, all her other classmates, didn't really say, hey, you're okay, and such. And it's like, excuse me, <clears throat> when you see someone down, whether it is, like, at school, on social media, anything, take that initiative and be like, hey, are you okay? Do you want to talk it out? Do you want someone just to um, listen to you and such? Like, for an example with me, um, I, because this is only really day two officially. <laughs> this is only day two of my vacation um, slash day one. And um, I was feeling some type of way yesterday. I'm not going to go into detail on it and such because I, I'm, I'm now, I'm okay, I'm a little bit better. But um, due to the situation, I was in here crying. Um, I, if you follow me on Instagram and such, or even Snapchat, like the thing I posted on Snapchat, I deleted it and I placed it strictly on Instagram for a reason and such. And then I posted something else on Instagram. And one of my... Um, former co-workers who I do consider a friend, she reached out to me and she was like, are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? And I did. We talked for like a good hour about how I currently felt about this situation. And then I also talked to one of my subscribers who is one of my friends as well about it to get, you know, different opinions on everything. I even talked to my mom about it before she left. So if there's any other time where you see someone who is upset and that you are friends with them, Take that a first initiative and that first step and be like, hey, are you okay? Like, what's wrong and stuff? Because that's really going to bond your friendship and being like, okay, I can not only be here when, when times are happy and, you know, we're fun, we're doing X, Y, and Z together, but it also registers that person that you can be with that person when times do get rough. And certain things happen that, you know, regardless, let's say there's a death in your family, that that person will be there for you regardless of how you are with your friendship or your relationship at the end of the day and such. And so I think, once again, this is a, uh, I can't speak, this is a beautiful relationship between Momoka and Nina. Like, once again, still ship it because there are shippable moments. I love the fact that, you know, even the new girl, who literally looks like, uh, what's her face from K-On, even though she, she's like a certain type of way, she's not particularly Nina's vibe. And I get it because 
once again, this is the situation of you can't mix all your friends together and such. But we know that they're going to be able to let bygones be bygones and eventually form this band because we know it's happening. Duh. Regardless. But, yeah, I, I totally get that. You you can't have certain friends mix with other friends because not everybody is going to, you know, be all tight, tight, cool, cool and shit. Some can, some cannot. You just never know. Sometimes you have to just let that, you know, do a little trial run and such to see how they, you know, the dynamic is. And then you'd be like, yeah, okay, if this works out, let's do some more things together. Or no, this does not work out. We're not doing this again. I, I just know to keep you separated from this person. Duh. But no, it was a really good episode. Even with everything that happened, I'm strictly 100% proud of Nina and how she's going through. I mean, she's trying to not only prove herself wrong, but she's trying to prove her parents wrong. Her her parents are very, as she's told us and we've seen in like flashbacks, very, very, very strict with their roles, how certain things are done and such. So I, I hope by the end of this, that she goes home and she does a little pinky to her parents. <laughs> Not the other finger, just the pinky. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Chris episode two of Girls Man Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Friday or next Saturday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.